Now I will draw all the Madden cheese more in details and I'm going to show you the way they are connected with each other and with the brain and I'm going to also draw some of their structures. First there was a layer of skin and on the skin of course there was some hair which we didn't draw in the first place but now we did. The next layer was bone but bone is covered with periosteum it's the outer bone membrane so here it is this is the periosteum this is not the bone and it, it's like a small thin uh, membrane on the bone after that comes the bone with its typical uh, structure of um, compact outer layer the spongy bone inside and the compact inner layer now with the first brain membrane that touches the bone, the dura mater, but it's the outer layer of dura mater called the periosteal dura mater. So this is the periosteal dura mater. And now first I'm going to draw a cortex of the brain. Just to make it clear, this is the cortex. This so here is the white matter. So just tell you that here are the actually bodies of the neurons. That's why it has this more dark color. And here in the white matter are axons and that's why it has brighter color. Now try to remember when I talked about the membrane that was on the cortex. It was called the pia matter. The pia matter is very thin brain membrane and it follows the curvature of the brain as you can see here, here. It follows the brain curvature because it's attached to the brain surface. Now we obviously have some space here and we're going to draw the rest of the membranes. Between the dura matter and pia matter there is a one membrane called arachnoidal matter. The arachnoidal matter does not follow the curvature of the brain. The space between dura matter and arachnoidal matter is called the subdural space. That's over here. And this was arachnoidal matter. And the space between pia matter and arachnoidal matter is called the sub -ara no we yeah. space. One more thing that I can say about the arachnoidal matter is that it does not follow the curvature of the brain as the pure matter does. Dura matter is not transparent and you cannot see through it, while arachnoidal matter and pure matter are transparent. If you remembered, I said that the dura matter consists of two layers. And here we have only one. This one layer is the periosteal layer. The periosteal dura matter. Okay. And the other layer, the meningeal dura matter, is between the periosteal dura matter and arachnoidal matter. It's called the meningeal dura matter because it faces other brain membranes. The interesting thing about meningeal dura matter is that here it separates from the periosteal dura matter. So over here they were attached to each other but here they separate periosteal dura matter still goes with the bone and the meningeal dura matter separates and here they form the falx cerebri. This over here. And that is how falx cerebri is created. Uh, if you can remember we have drawn the falx cerebri in the last lesson when we took out the whole brain out of the skull. One more interesting thing is that there is an empty space here. 
And that empty space is the sinus. The sinus is um, an empty space that receives the blood from the inner and outer cerebral veins. And it also receives the cerebrospinal fluid from the subarachoidal space. Over here in the subarachnoidal space, we can find arteries and veins. These veins can go deep inside of the curves of the cortex. They're also the extensions of arachnoidal matter inside of sinus or dura matter, and it's called the arachnoidal villus. And at the end, I would like to say one very important thing, and that is that pia matter is very sensible to pain because it has arteries and nerves, while the brain substance cannot produce pain at all. This was the lesson about the brain membranes. Make sure you check out our website, www.flashbrainanatomy.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like this video.